Everyone's getting going again, starting to get busy. It's about seven in the morning, Eastern time here in North Bay, Ontario. Just about to walk the weasel here. Get him some fresh air, let him stretch his legs, do his business. I'm gonna run over there, grab some Timmy's. We gotta make a delivery just down the street in about 45 minutes. And then we head over to uh, Ancaster. That was the town I was trying to remember yesterday. Ancaster, Ontario. And then we've got Ottawa. But I think Ottawa's tomorrow morning, so I think I've only got two deliveries today. It should make for a bit of an easier day, not so rushed, hopefully. So we'll see what happens. Thanks for joining me. Hey, if you haven't already, hit the subscribe button. We make a new video pretty much every day. The day can now begin. Delivery number one. Just looking at my delivery slips here, the next town is Ancaster, Ontario. Now, I thought that that would be close to North Bay because that would make sense, right? Because we came from the Toronto area. Uh, around to Oshawa, up to North Bay this morning, and then I thought I'd run over to Ottawa. Ancaster is by Hamilton. That's like between Mississauga and, and Hamilton there. So I gotta go all the way back down to the Toronto area, the other side of the GTA, and then come back up to Ottawa for tomorrow. Why wouldn't they have had me deliver Ancaster while I was right by Ancaster? There's a, there's a strict uh, order that I have to follow, right? Because the trailer is loaded in order. I wouldn't have been able to get to that, uh, to Ancaster before today. I guess I could have gone there this morning. Then I could have gone from Oshawa back to Ancaster, then back up here to North Bay, and then to Ottawa. That would have even made more sense. But they sent me up here to North Bay. Now i got to go back down to the Toronto area, and then all the way back up to Ottawa, which Ottawa is like right over there. It's not that far away from here. That's a strange delivery sequence. But I have to follow the sequence, right? Don't ask questions, Trucker Josh. Just do your job. All right, so we're going back down to the GTA. For three boxes. Three boxes. That's it. I could carry them. I could put them in the back of a Honda Civic. All right, well... They want that to be the delivery sequence? That'll be the delivery sequence. Trucker Josh doesn't ask questions. He just whines and complains. It doesn't really matter to me because I get paid for it either way. What's this? Oh, it's nothing. I get paid for it either way, so... I actually make more money out of this route by them routing me this way. It's not my fault. That's what they told me to do, so hey. I'll take it. Maybe next time they'll... 
do the this road i think was created by someone in illinois though so they may not be familiar with this area they probably thought that like north bay ottawa and toronto are like neighbors they're actually quite a little ways apart we're, we're a pretty big country ontario is a very big province and this is just southern ontario at least they didn't like you know wrote me to toronto and then calgary and then like st john new brunswick and then back to vancouver you know that'd be silly like look at this look at this we're gonna zoom out a little bit here okay here we are in north bay ontario a little further, a little further, a little further. Okay. We were just down here, okay? So here's Detroit. So you guys know about where we are here, right? There's Detroit. There's the U.S., okay? And here's Toronto. This is where we were yesterday. So we came all the way up here to North Bay. That's four hours north. My next stop is back down in Toronto, and then I got to go back all the way over here to Ottawa. See, I could have delivered this yesterday. I would have had time. And then gone up to North Bay and then to Ottawa, right? But now, instead of just going from North Bay over here to Ottawa, I gotta go all the way down and back down to Toronto and then back to Ottawa. And then we go to Montreal after that, which is like right next door, right there. So it's, whatever, like I said, doesn't really matter to me because I'm getting paid for it, but it's not exactly the most efficient routing. Ready to rock, Diesel? Hold by you. All right, let's go. So maybe there's a reason they routed me this way. You know, that maybe it was like a scheduling appointment time type of reason. Who knows? Doesn't really matter to me either way. Just makes me go, huh? So off we go, it's a four hour drive, plus uh, traffic, plus stops, plus bathroom breaks, stuff like that. So we are still on schedule. We got to deliver there at 2 p.m. Get out of North Bay here. Look at the fall colors, eh? This is what I was talking about. Like, look at this right here, like bright orange, bright red. Northern Ontario is just amazing. Amazing in the fall time. Look at that Civic just screaming past there on the right. Man, where are you 
going in that family wagon. So now we're in uh, the Toronto area here. I think we're closer to Mississauga. I don't know. In 500 meters, keep to the left on Highway 427. We've delivered our freight. Now we're on our way back up to Ottawa. But I have to stop by in Oshawa on the way because yesterday they didn't unload all of their product. Remember I told you they, I had to make sure that they wouldn't take any of the next people's product? Well, it turns out they didn't take enough. They left some of their own on there, like six big boxes. So I gotta swing by their place there on the way to Ottawa, because it's right on the way, and drop In them off. kilometers, keep to the right on Highway 401 East RTE 401. But it's not really a big deal, because like I said, it's right on the way. Literally just off the highway. But if it wasn't, man, that'd be inconvenient. Yet they signed the bill. They signed the bill saying that they received everything in good order. Clearly they didn't count. But it was a big order and mistakes happened, so. I'll fix it. Well, it's been a smooth drive through Toronto. Only got flipped off once. Not bad. Not bad. And I didn't even do anything. There was a driver who had a, his whole family in his truck and he was weaving in and out of traffic and cutting off truck after truck after truck trying to get ahead. Traffic was at much more of a standstill than this. And uh, you know, he cut off the truck who was coming up beside me and he almost got rear-ended. And then I ended up pulling up beside him because traffic was at a standstill and I was just looking at him, right? I didn't say anything, I didn't roll my window down, I didn't make any gestures, nothing. I just looked at him and I shook my head just once. I'm like. That's ridiculous. Because I'm looking in the back seat. He's got children in the back seat. He's got his wife in the front seat. And he's driving like a lunatic. And he's going to get somebody killed. So I just, you know, shook my head and I looked away. Also, I hear yelling, right? Like, what? What's this now? I look over at him. The guy has his passenger window rolled down because he's on my driver's side, right? And he's leaning over his wife, swearing and yelling at me and giving me the finger. And his wife, obviously, is turning beet red. She's so embarrassed. I don't blame her. But I'm, I'm, I worry about families like that, you know? Because you all see it too. These people are out there. You've probably met a few of them on the road, right? They're in the wrong. They're putting everybody else in danger. And when they get caught or when you look at them or try to call them out or even just shake your head, they get mad at you. <clears throat> As if it's your fault for existing in that time and space. And then they explode, right? And I'm just thinking, I'm looking at him. I didn't roll my window down. I was looking at him, shaking my head even more. I'm like, if he's willing to swear a stranger up and down and give the finger to a random person on the road that he just cut off, and the things he was saying, and I'm looking in the back seat, and if he's willing to say that in front of his children and with his wife right in the middle, he's leaning right over her, like, I wonder if he's got that short of a fuse. I'm worried about that family. How angry does he get at home if that little bit triggers him into that kind of rage? Well, that's our good deed for the, de for the, for the, for the day or for the week. The day and the week, Deke brought these uh, cases back where they belong. They had signed the paperwork and said that they received everything. So I showed up, they're like, but our paperwork says we got everything. I'm like, Somebody didn't count right. So they went and looked it up, they're like, yeah, no kidding. They overlooked those five, so they were very thankful that I brought them their product. I could have just dumped it somewhere and no one would have ever known, but you don't do that. Gotta bring it here. They paid for it, it belongs to them. And it was right on my way, literally two minutes out of my way, so. So I'll show you what we got left inside the trailer it's not too much I think the majority of it's going to ottawa tomorrow morning so we got ottawa in the morning and then we have montreal in the afternoon put these all away i had these all organized
this trailer was loaded really weird it's supposed to be all loaded in sequence right but it's all mixed up like this stuff for them they didn't unload it yesterday because it was buried behind two other deliveries so what were they supposed to do unload the whole trailer pick apart their stuff and then put everything back in like that's not their job to do that it's supposed to be loaded in sequence it's one of the worst trailers i've had in a while Well, we're here in Ottawa, ah, the nation's capital. Got to deliver right across the street tomorrow morning. Shouldn't take too long. It's I think it's just like a few boxes and then the rest goes into Montreal. And then we got to go pick up our reload and book it back home. I want to get back home. I haven't spent too many nights in our new house yet. And Britt and her stepmom have done amazing work making it like home already, unpacking, settling in. I can't wait to get there and see it. But for now, me and the weasel here are going to watch the presidential debate in the US because it should be pretty entertaining. And I'm sure that's gonna get the comment section right lit up. So that'll help me with the YouTube algorithm, right? You see what I did there? I said the loud part quiet, the quiet part loud again. Well, the debate's not gonna watch itself. Have a good night, everybody. And I'll talk to you tomorrow.